Well, hey there, YouTube. Matt M. Roy back again. This is a video request from the Primal Edge. Um, he wanted me to do an installation video of this PC card Firewire adapter. This is a PCI Express X1 card. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this in my Dell XPS 8700. Now, I know you guys haven't seen the inside of this computer for a while, so... It's going to be interesting for both of us because I have a hunch this may need to be cleaned out. Um, I've had this computer now for about, mm, let's say, five or six months and uh, I have not actually even opened it since. One thing that I am concerned is I don't remember, you and know, I'll find out together, if I have a mole, extra Molex power connector in here, this may only be SATA. Uh, yes, this definitely needs to be blown out. Now, I am looking in here and I do not actually see a 4-pin Molex power. I believe everything in here is SATA, which I'm not surprised. So, I'm going to have to figure another way to do this. I think I may have an adapter which goes from uh, SATA to Molex but uh, I'm gonna have to look around so I put this video on hold for a few minutes so if I find something I'll be back today if not we may have to hold off for a few days alright I pulled a graphics card and as you can see there's been a lot of dust build up so I'm gonna go ahead and try to clean that out real quick I have the Electrolux Let's see how much we can actually get. You want to go real easy because these are plastic blades. They do not bode well for uh, survivability if I was to just hit that in there a little too hard. Alright. I think that actually came out pretty nice. There's a little bit more dust on there. I'm going to try to clean that up and then we'll go ahead and put this card back in. Alright, well that vacuum did a pretty good job. Got rid of most of that dust. So uh, let's go ahead and put this card back in and at the same time I am going to install the um, the uh, Firewire card but I don't believe I'm going to be able to hook power up to it just yet. Okay, as you can see there is a PCI Express X1 slot there. And that should be the corresponding blanking plate, so i got to go ahead and move, remove that. We can go ahead and install this uh, X1 card here. Right. Well, I got it in there. Um, it wasn't a very easy fit, as you can see. The card is actually bending a little bit. Um, I don't think they designed this card quite right. The uh, plate is a little bit too far to the right. As you can see, it's still not quite in there the way I would like. Uh, try and just kind of bend it back, but I think that's as good as we're going to get here. As you can see, it's actually pushed this other plate out of the way. I got to see what's causing that to happen. Okay, I finally got it in properly. What had actually happened, this little wire mesh right here had got pushed to the right side. That's why this blanking plate would not go on properly. So now it's time to go ahead and put the uh, graphics card back in. And I'm hoping that I have enough clearance between this fan and the edge of my new card here. But we shall see. Well, as you can see, it does block a very small edge of the fan, but I think it's going to be okay. It's got maybe a quarter of an inch of space there. And I would say maybe 80-90% of the fan is still... Uh, still exposed to the bare air and this graphics card is only the GT640 so it doesn't really run that hot anyway now I'm gonna go ahead and put the blanking plate or the bracket back on to hold this now I'm gonna see what I can do about getting power to this card um, this is gonna be tricky especially trying to find a uh, to uh, run the wire past that fan so it doesn't uh, get sucked in but uh, we'll give it a try we'll see what we can do well I was rummaging through my closet, and I think I might have looked out. I came across this 6-inch SATA 15-pin power male to do Molex female. 
and this should fix my problem. I'll go ahead and open this and explain to you exactly what this does. Okay, so here's the cable out of the package. Basically how this works is I'm going to take one of these regular SATA power cables. You can see a little notch here, tell you which way it goes in. I'm going to go ahead and plug it into here. So we're going uh, female to male. And then this will give me the corresponding female Molex power adapters I need to power my little Firewire card there. If I can figure out how to use this and still have enough uh, SATA connectors for my hard drives, that could be an issue. It's going to take a little finagling, but uh, I'm going to make it work somehow, guys. Well, this is by no means uh, in a, my ideal setup for this, but I think this is the only way it's going to work. As you can see, I do have now have the Molex power hooked up to the um, Firewire card there, the PC Express X1. What I had to do, unfortunately, was route it above here because I can't have the cable going in front of the fan there. That would be a fire hazard. Uh, there were two, so I'm just have this sitting down here for now. I might try to find a better way to tie that up, but once the, the case on, I really don't think it's going to go anywhere. You can see the little connector there. I had to take one of the ones from the main hard drive, the main SATA power cable, and hook it up to here. And then luckily I had an extra one hidden behind the hard drives, and I was able to get it plugged in again. Now this is really tight. This is actually tighter than I would like, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, unfortunately, because this is a Dell and it's not a custom build, there are some things about the case that aren't ideal for modding, but you know what? I definitely think this is going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and try to clean this up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and put the cover back on and we'll see if this card actually works. Okay, computer's hooked up. I have pre-installed the FireWire drivers for Windows 8.1. So without further ado, smoke test! Looks good so far. Now if you guys don't remember, hello, if you guys do not remember uh, for because this video card is not 100% compatible with Windows 8, I don't you get the BIOS splash screen and I don't actually get the Windows startup screen. This uh, mo The monitors don't actually engage until I have the login screen so I'll go ahead and start the uh, video camera once that shows up. Okay, we have the login screen. It actually looks like I put my DVI cables on backwards, but that's fine. That'll work for this test. So I have to enter my password in. And we'll see if Windows finds my new uh, Firewire card. Okay, it looks like we are successful. I guess uh, the installation went through quicker than I thought. As you can see there, we have the IEEE 1394 host controllers, and it shows the VIA 1394 OHCI compliant host controller, and that is the card I installed. So I'm going to call this a successful install. Uh, I'm going to do. I'm going to test this with a separate video because I don't really have any footage to uh, upload from any of my vintage camcorders right now. Hope you guys enjoyed this installation video. Uh, Primal Edge, this one was for you. Of course, if everybody else enjoys it, that's all the better. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.